everybody. Welcome back to IP Farms. Well, this is going to be a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to be talking quite a bit more in this video. It's about building the PTO shaft for the big 14 foot gyro mower. We've talked about that in several past videos. Um, so, probably not going to be a whole lot of hands on work because uh, some of my buddies with me and uh, he's helped me. But we'll try to get as much as I possibly can, show you what's going on, and hopefully get it installed on the bush hog and get back down here in the fields and get started. So, stay tuned. Well, here we are. Uh, this is going to be a little bit different as far as me babbling, just to explain a few things. Somebody's helping me, so we can't get much footage of it. <clears throat> but I'll show you what we got going on, uh, finger in the screen. Uh, that's the piece that broke with the yoke, and there's the original square shaft we had. Um, that's the drive shaft that runs from the slip clutch up to the uh, hitch where that attaches. So what we did was I got... Uh, this two and a quarter inch PTO pipe. Um, we've got the Series 35 yoke here that's uh, made to go in that. We'll press that in so it'll be a good uh, solid fit. And then of course here's the uh, square tube coupler. Does the same thing on the opposite end. Goes in, we'll get everything pressed in here and then uh, we'll weld it at the shop. Uh, it's a pretty good fit um, compared to what we had before. So, uh, good and tight so it's inch and three sixteenths so what we have to do is uh gonna have to cut this pipe down uh to that length close to it uh put the new u-joint in and while i had it apart um here's the original roller bearing and several pieces that was in uh this block here this is the support for where the that pto shaft right there comes up and rides in this and then the front one attaches so i actually bought that bearing from john deere when i bought the bush hog <clears throat> and uh did the clutch and stuff so that's where we are so far i'll bring you back and show you a little bit about um when we get these pieces i might get some footage of pressing them in it's just a snug fit it's not like it's got to be pressed in but with the collars and stuff on them hopefully everything will be good um and like i said uh before you can see how wore out that is with those roller bearings so i'm not even gonna worry about the balancing aspect of it i think between the new bearing there and then this tight fit we should be good so hopefully we'll have the big mower running before long so stay tuned i'm gonna show you real quick uh what we came up with uh that's the ends put in um pressed in we made it just a little bit longer you can see the other one there beside of it just because of the bad spot that was on the square uh so that's what we've got. Uh, he's got the other part in his truck, the long shaft. We put the bearing on. I've already showed you that. So get the welder out here. Try to get you set up. Haven't burned any wire on video in a while. So see if we can get this welded up and uh, go back here and get this thing bolted on and hopefully get to mowing some grass. So let's we'll see what we can do. into. I don't know how he found the wet spot as dry as it is. 
Oh my goodness. Alright everybody, we're going to wrap this one up and call the video on the building of the 1000 RPM PTO shaft for the 14 foot John Deere gyre mower. Saved about $300 doing it myself, parts are readily available, went together rather easy, probably two hours total. We did a little bit at my buddy's shop, uh, first part of the video, and then the last part did here. Got a little bit of the welding, put a good bead around it, uh, just a good snug fit, uh, no vibrations, no anything, so you know it's definitely doable, um, farmer fixing if you will. I just, you know, can't stand to uh, spend that kind of money when uh, I do it myself. I mean, I understand labor and everything else, but you can't make a living off parts like uh, what they quoted me. I mean, th this one was, uh, this one was going to be about double what the other one was, and it's basically the exact same shaft and actually less pieces that they had to put in. So I really don't know what was going on there, but anyhow, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, it wasn't a whole lot, um, but I told you guys I'd do a video of it, and I did. Uh, we're back in the saddle with the uh, bush hog and stay tuned for the next video or two about that. See how everything goes. Um, but I really appreciate everybody continuing to be here, uh, watching along, following the journey with me. You know, being back in the saddle, it really feels good. And uh, I think we're in a, going in a positive direction for a change. So fingers crossed everything keeps on like it's going. We'll see what happens. Till next time. Thank you.